Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Well, we have a new presenter for you this week, Lee Garrett. Lee is a fellow Englishman and you'll be familiar with the name as he's now a regular contributor to the Screencasts Online monthly magazine. Well versed in all things Mac and iOS, Lee will be joining the regular roster of Screencasts Online presenters, so I hope you'll join me in welcoming Lee to Screencasts Online. So, over to Lee. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through three of my favourite Mac applications that may have gone under the radar for many of you, yet for myself, they actually form an integral part of my daily routine and workflow. These applications are called KeyQ, Popcar and Typinator, and they are all developed by the same company, that's Ergonist Software, who are based in Austria. For those of you who love to use keyboard shortcuts, yet find there are so many out there they become difficult to remember, KeyQ will come to your rescue. KeyQ serves to remind you of all the shortcuts that are available within an application or the system at the touch of a button. Popcar makes the typing of unusual characters easy without having to remember specific keyboard combinations. And Typinator will help relieve the tedium and frustration that comes with having to repeatedly type your name, email addresses, signatures, letter templates, and so on. So let's move on with the first application in this bundle, and that's KeyQ. Okay, so first we need to install KeyQ, and this is available directly from the Ergonist website, alongside all their other applications. We'll click Products and see a list of available applications. Now, as you can see, there's actually a really handy productivity bundle here, which allows you to pick up all three of the applications that we're going to cover today at a discounted rate. If we scroll further down, we'll see all of the applications listed individually. You can see here that there's a Windows version of Popcar available. So if you find yourself on a Windows machine occasionally, as I do, you can use it on that platform too. For now, we're going to concentrate on KeyQ. Now support for legacy OSs with older versions of KeyQ is available. I'm just gonna click the latest one here, as this machine here is running version 10.14. So to install, I'm gonna click download the new version. And this link is great because you can actually install all of the applications from here, not just KeyQ. I'm just gonna download KeyQ for now though. So I'll just click here. If I look inside my downloads directory, I can see the DMG file. So I'm just gonna double click on the installer and then double click on the resulting icon that pops up. You'll see the standard dialog box that appears whenever you try to install an application downloaded from the internet. I'm just gonna click open and then install. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.